NFL world, this is Fat Man DD1. All right, so this is my Legends of Tomorrow spoiler review clip by clip. And we're just going to get into this because I had to re-edit this entire video. The last one I had to delete from YouTube and I had to repost a new one. So this is my new review. Um, basically, I'm going to finish up part three and then I'm going to move straight into part four in my next video. Just give me some time, a slow editing process, other things to do, you know, personal life. Uh, so now let's get into this. So basically we end up in a blood tribe, blood trude, that has the crew basically a little disorganized at the moment from the last time they saw Vandal Savage and got close to stopping him, but no dice. They lost Carter. They have are a little strong bringing each other together, but also Kendra got stabbed. So now right here we see um, a short little clip, if you've seen on the side, of basically ancient Egypt, we see a guy in a robe, we see a guard, and then we see Vandal Savage himself. A little fight ensues, and then we have Rip Hunter. Don't know what's going on with Rip, that's the crazy part. So I think this is his first attempt to kill Savage, which it is and which is bad. So we're gonna move even further into the scene, which has um, Rip and White Canary teaming up throughout the entire episode. Basically, as Kendra's almost like near death, they have a lot of the characters grouped separately in this episode, which is a good idea because we need to develop each character slowly and process the deepness and make the viewer connect with the character, which that's also pretty good for a series. So right here on the side, you're going to see White Canary and Rip's entire team up through all the episodes. So I'm just going to move so you can see all that gloriness right there. That's so beautiful. Yes, it is. So as they're teaming up, White Canary's blood, like, uh, I would call it savage blood kill mode, would just be the right choice. She's not a monster, she just has another side of her that she has to control. The same side that can help the team defeat a lot of enemies, she has the skills needs to know. Rip is also a good tactician, but he's not about a team. He's He got this together to kill Savage, and vengeance is a bad thing, but hey, this is what the team is brought together for. And we see that White Canary and Rip are a wonderful tag team. Like, good to team up. The way they fight in the um in the bank, the way they're intercepting Savage, they're a good two-man team. She has problems, he has problems. It's a work in progress. Oh, this is Fat Man. Okay, so now we see all of the collective energies and team-ups between Rip and White Canary, which used to be Black Canary. So now we see that is perfect, you know? But then we move closer to Snart and Heat Wave and Jax. So we move closer to the, um, to the vagabonds of the group, the bad guys, you know? Like, the guys that probably would do bad if their lives didn't just fuck themselves up. Captain Cold is trying to change his future because he believes history fucked with him first. As you see on this side, all the stuff from the episode has them involved with each other. And this leads to a lot of things. Plus, that's more animosity between the characters. This is more of their character buildup, but let alone Captain Cold's ca character buildup. And Heatwave. Heatwave isn't a bad guy, but he seems to just be like... Captain Cold's my boss, he's my best friend, and we know each other for a long time. We grew up on the same block together. That's what's crazy, that's what's amazing about these characters. And now, the fact that he wanted to change history pisses me off because you can't. Because it's just how it works. Because Gideon was like, nah, it's not how, it's not how, I, it's not how it works, bro. Further into the episode, where we have just the fact that Ray and Dr. Stein are just bitchering and converting over so much. Ray and Stein are doing what doing their jobs and trying to save Kendra. But Ray got hit with a, a freaking piece of the fragment stuck inside of her when he went to save her in the beginning and now it's a little more different. They're trying to, you know, be on the good to the side. Ray you know, Ray's a cool dude, but after the Starling City siege, his wife died, he created a suit to protect others, and his leg was broken, he couldn't do much. Stein, on the other hand, is trying to sympathize with Ray, but also save Kendra's fucking life. Now, that's just the way to think about it. Like, you know, like, oh, there's a dead woman on a slab. She's gonna be a dead woman on a slab, so save her, and she'll be, she'll, okay, she can come back, but 
there's, there's the thing, like, Ray doesn't mean nothing to the, to the series because everyone just doesn't care about him. And neither Stein doesn't care about everybody else, but he cares about the future and inventions and seeing how things go and move. But the fact that Stein had to convince Ray to save her and lie to him is the only way for that emotional support to actually work. The only way for Stein to pick them up and help them. You know, that's that's life. <laughs> I like the fact that this episode went well and these guys were helping Kendra, but their bravado, the, the scientists, the mental minds, they're too different. Ray's a little more younger. Stein's way more older, but doesn't get it. If Stein was a little more older, I think things would be pretty cool. But tell me what you here we get basically the final act of the episode and blood tried or tribunal or some shit is basically the birth and resurrection of savage to a nuclear level because we're looking at each characters go through their own story arc with basic separated three you know so we got uh stein ray and kendra but we're dealing with ray and Ray and Stein. We're dealing with a uh, Canary and Rip. We're dealing with Heatwave, Captain Cold, and Jax. But we're dealing with Captain Cold situation, and we're dealing with um, uh, Kendra's bloodlust, and we're dealing with um, the history with Ros um, Vandal Savage and Rip Hunter. So that just gets a little more in detail. So as we're dealing with all that history, we're dealing with all of that. Oh my god, it's a lot of shit there. Also, I got something in my eye, I'm sorry. We're dealing with all of that times ten. Plus, in the episode that we that, that you see here, they come together smoothly. It's like, yo, call the team up. Because um, Kendra got got helped by... Um, when she, She's healed, but she can feel them cutting Carter's neck. She can feel it. She can hear them chanting. Because I think their bodies are still connected by a certain mind wavelength. At the end of the episode... It's a, it's a crazy thing because as he cuts Savage's throat, Ray um, Rip Rip mentions his wife and daughter, like I mean his son and his wife. <laughs> he mentions their names, and Vandal Savage remembers that. And I think Vandal Savage is reborn thanks to um, the League of Assassins is reborn and goes on a killing spree, which is you know which is okay for the guy because once he's brought back he finds his kids and he kills them so I think the better thing they should do is they should hit Savage in the future they could they can't hit him in the past they gotta hit him in the future because for some reason he that's where everything is happening that's where everything begins and at the end of the episode we have everybody missing Carter we have Rip trying to find words to bring the team together which fails and then we have them just, you know, burying Carter and having Kendra say, come back to me. And, well, he may come back to you, but you have to kill Savage first so his spirit can just go bye-bye. And the fact that this episode brought the team together, made them a little more stronger, but then you see Kendra right there in the, in the empty chair. And episode four, I'm going to talk about in a minute, I seen it, I just got to go through the editing process, and... They can. They basically answered all my questions about Kendra and White Canary. I kn saw it coming. She got the training she needs. She's becoming more of an animal, more of a fighter. Which, fuck, we need that. <laughs> so, tell me about the rest of the episode. What do you think about it? Leave your comments below. Subscribe to my channel. Tell me what you want to hear. I got a new video coming. This is Fat Man. Peace.